Growers are currently investing a significant amount in their machinery and their seed. There is the potential that, particularly with high value crops like canola and lentils, there could be some savings both in efficiencies and costs as well. Um, so today we're here trying to um, upskill and give growers the knowledge and capacity that they can make informed decisions and are aware about how to set up their machine to the best of its ability. We have six seeders here today that we're demonstrating for growers. Three of them are tine seeders, three of them are disc seeders, and of those three disc seeders we have two precision planters. This GRDC investment is really working to optimise the plant establishment of crops, in particular canola here today, but also wheat, lentils and faba beans. So it is actually a trial. Each seeder will do a run uh, at the full seeding rate at 3.5 kilos per hectare, followed by a half rate at 1.75 kilos per hectare. With the precision planters, um, there is the opportunity to use less seed. Uh, so that's why we've chosen a half rate, is to see how the plants establish and then how that reflects yield at the end of the season. Precision planters are certainly not new technology, but new for the region and not commonly used on a broad acre scale. Precision planters, for my mind, have a lot of attraction to me as an advisor as, as well as for growers because seed cost is, is so significant, but just maintaining establishment, getting the seed in the right spot, and then having the ability to separate fertiliser is a, is a big plus. The seed bed utilisation, which we tend to use a fair, fair bit, is about maximising the space that, that's there and making sure there's a seed. Quite often when we have high seeding rates, we can actually go against that. When we've got row spacings effect too, why we concentrate a lot of seed in the wider row spacings in the rows, we could be wasting a lot of seed there. So we only want to get exactly the right target plant density and maximise seed bed utilisation. So from today, we'll, we'll continue to monitor this trial. We'll compare plant establishment, vigour, and we'll follow this through to dry matter production at midway through the season. And we'll also be doing grain harvest which is important because that's the economic analysis that comes through. We'll also be presenting the trial back to growers and really get to a good feel about how the seeders have performed in what I would say is pretty tough sowing conditions. Go to the description bar below for the latest information, links and resources.